Alright, Keys, it is me again, Key Tournament. Episode 2 of Season 3 of the Keycraft SMP. Now you'll notice there's two characters here, and I am actually playing on a separate device, and I'm recording. That is because I have an alt account set up today to be a spectator as a camera account for a little bit of a time lapse I have planned. Uh, so yeah, we are going to be starting off this episode with a short time lapse. I know I promised last episode that we would have some farming um, infrastructure set up today, and so that is the plan. I look forward to getting into this, so let's jump right into a time lapse to start this video. So in this episode, we're planning on starting construction on a nice farm area, and I want that to feel connected to the village that we have established, so I've built this road. Now it's built out of the simple materials of andesite, cobblestone, and gravel, as well as some coarse dirt mixed in. Now I'm not super happy with the turnout of the road so far, but I have some ideas to improve it as we go on, including just making it feel more connected to the environment around it. So right now it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. But we can fix that by having some grass creep in a little bit to the road and just some environmental changes to make it feel more connected and more natural in the landscape. As is though, I'm fairly happy and happy enough with the result to live with it for now. Now I drastically overestimated the amount of materials I would need to build this road, so we have far more than enough to continue the road network into the future, especially around the village, because I'm not a fan of these dirt paths that Minecraft likes to use. In the meantime though, we're gonna get right on over to building a farm and seeing what we can do and what ideas come to mind about a farmhouse or perhaps a barn and all sorts of fun things to construct over there. So, I'll see you over there. So, with the goal of setting out to build a farm area, I knew I needed to develop some kind of wall. And so this is the first version I came up with. I had torches on sticks, this double wide um, dark oak stripped thing going with a trap door here to kind of cover up the top of the log. And I thought, well, this kind of looks lame, especially when I string it all in a row. So I added a lantern instead of a torch, but I thought, eh, I'm still not a huge fan. Well, what I eventually ended up settling on was this, and I'm really proud of the result. So instead of having the fence posts on top of the log, I just cut it out and put it over and have these nice little lanterns hanging. Originally, I had one at every single one of these posts, but it looked too busy and cluttered. Meanwhile, from a distance, this looks quite, quite natural with nice, well-spaced intervals of lanterns. And I have it going up and down a hill. I have some of them going in a straight line without the, uh, the line backwards, giving it an angle. And then for the archway over here, right under the road, simple. It's just a more stripped dark oak and some stairs to round it off a little bit. Nothing too complex, nothing too fancy. Just enough to give it this nice homey feel. And I don't have the lanterns up over here yet, but I'll get some going. And so this is the start of the farm. I want people to come around this bend, around the hill here, and just feel like this is nice and welcoming. And I feel like the bright orange lanterns do that very well with a nice wide open gate and a low fence that you can actually jump over. You know, it just feels very, very homey. And that's... So yeah, it just feels very very homey like my homies would be welcome here so yeah I'm up next I have plans to build a little tractor I found on reddit so I'll do a walkthrough of that in just a second let me gather the materials for that 
All right, so to build this tractor, I've got this little chest of materials. It's a pretty simple design. I found it on Reddit. I will post a screenshot of the original post. Give credit where it's due. I did not design this tractor, but I thought it looked really good, and I wanted to implement it uh, into this farming area. So we're going to get started right away. So we've got two wheels in the front. We've got a smooth stone slab right in the middle, and we're going to put a fence gate here. Oh, not there right in front with the gate open like that. All right, now we're gonna take our blast furnace and set it up right here. And we're gonna put some slabs on either side. Let me grab these buttons. The buttons go on the side of the wheels. And so here you can see we've got the start, the front of a tractor. It's got the grill and everything else. All right, now let's grab the stair. And oh, where did I put my terracotta? There it is. So we're going to place the terracotta, nope, not right there. We're going to put the slab here. We're going to put an anvil on top of the next one. Another slab here. We're going to put this here. Throw that down. Like so. We take four more of our coal here. Throw it down. Put another button on. Yet again, another button. Let's come back over to the chest, grab some more materials. We're going to take our anvil, put it down here. Now we're going to have windows all the way around the cabin of our tractor. Throw down some wool on top. This is a roof, or some carpet rather. Finally, the last step, we're going to grab our trap door and throw it down right on top here. And there we go, we've got a nice little tractor. It's nice, it's quaint, it's simple to build, relatively low resources. Honestly, the most frustrating part was the coal. That's 90 coal involved for making 10 blocks of coal, which is a little frustrating at this early stage of the game without fortune, but we make it work. And so I think this is a great little addition. So you're walking up to the farm, and automatically you just feel like this is a farm. Great addition. All right, so next we're gonna get some farmland started. Give this tractor some use. So I got to work planting some seeds over there and I also had the idea to put in a custom tree. Now, this is one field I really wanna gain some more experience in in Minecraft and I don't feel fully qualified to talk on because there are plenty of people who build much better trees than I do and I feel like it's just not my strong suit. So I wanted to challenge myself to build one. As you can see, I've thrown together a trunk here out of uh, dark oak and dark oak fences. I think so far it's off to a pretty good start. I just gotta get up here. I'm gonna start placing some leaves down. As you can see, I didn't have even nearly enough seeds to fill up this very small portion. So it's gonna take several harvests to get even this small area of the farm fully planted. But it's a start. So we'll get there eventually. In the meantime, I'm gonna try placing some leaves. Now I'm going for like sort of a weeping willow look. So I want these like drooping down portions on the end. My grandparents have a weeping willow in their yard and I really like the look of them. Let's give a little bit more depth to the top instead of having the top of the tree just be simply flat. I like the look of that. The top needs to be a little bit more uh, billowy. It's still too flat from this angle. So I think we add a layer or two up top, and I'll be fairly happy with the result. Yeah, you know what? I'm fairly happy with this result. I've certainly seen a lot better, but I've seen worse as well, and I have done much worse. So we're going to call this a win. But I think this is another one of those things that's really going to tie the environment in together, right? So as we're coming down the path from the village, you see this tree. And so this is the most important angle. It's one of the first parts of the farm that you're going to see. And I wanted there to be something as you're rounding this corner. I don't want it to just be all at once you round the corner and there's a farm. So as we're coming around here, there's probably going to the farm's going to come out this way. I'll probably have a scarecrow or something, maybe some signs and some more trees along the path here. But this is a center of attention because as you're walking and you're facing down this way, you're holding your attention on this tree for quite a while while walking down the path. So you want these points of focus for the eye. 
so that everything has a purpose to look at. You know, you don't want to be in passing and just looking at, you know, default Minecraft environment. Like, this is boring. You can see this wherever you go. To bring detail to an environment, you want to have these points of interest. And I think that this really is a good start to pulling that attention. Ooh, the tree doesn't look too great from this angle. What can we do? What can we do to spice that up? I feel like it needs to be wider. Perhaps we can add some more fluff on the back. That looks better already. It was just too narrow. So while standing around watching crops grow very slowly, I might add, uh, I decided we should get to work on another part of the farm. One of the most important parts of a farm, in my opinion, and the part that makes it feel the most lived in, and that is the farmhouse. Now, uh, I wanted to start, I started with some uh, foundations, some framework here, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a tip you might not know. It turns out you cannot strip the all-sided bark. Uh, the way to get it is you have to craft it out of the pre-stripped wood. So you cannot right-click on a block of this to strip it. You have to make sure that you already stripped the wood and then break it. And then you have to craft it. And I found that fairly interesting. And so now I have to do that and replace all of these that I've got as the six-sided bark. Which is a little annoying, but a minor inconvenience. So I'm going to get a little bit more progress done here, and I'll show you what I'm thinking for the project. So fast forward just a little bit in time. All right, so to hit you guys with a quick update on the progress of the farmhouse, uh, let's see what we've got so far. All right, here it is. So you can see I'm going for some fairly smooth textures. I've got a little bit of light blue terracotta with white concrete and stripped spruce logs. I really like the look of it. You can see here why I wanted the uh, capped off logs instead of the open-ended ones. I feel like it looks really good in this context. I plan on having a fence here, and these are going to be pillars going up to a covered porch that wraps all the way around the farmhouse. And I think that's gonna be a very good look. But you can see I'm trying to work outside of my comfort zone. Now, a lot of things that are very common in Minecraft builds. I'm trying to defy here, like the use of odd numbers typically. Uh, I'm using even numbers here so I can have a double door. I really wanted to fit a double door in here, and so I thought, well, I should use some even numbers for the divisions. So I've got four blocks here, two blocks here. Same thing down here, two, two, four, two, two. I do not do that very often. You'll notice both of the other structures I've built in the village are are three blocks in between each of the support pillars. And so this is a little different. Um, on top of that, I am experimenting with new blocks yet again. Uh, concrete still new to me, but I'm really liking these smooth textures and the terracotta goes really well with it. Uh, and so, yeah. All right, so I'm back here with another progress update and I think that this is looking fantastic. Now, it does look a little derpy, especially at the midline here, but we are still missing the awning from the wraparound porch. Uh, so there's gonna be an oak awning here that's gonna go well with the oak fences that are going to be here. I just need to gather some oak, otherwise I would have gotten to that already. Um, the interior is obviously still empty. It's a big open room. We have some roof access here. and I'll show you what is up, up here. So it's a fairly simple roof. It's almost exactly symmetrical on four sides, except two of the sides uh, only have this one A-frame in the center and it isn't a full A-frame all the way around. So for example, you can see here, it's one point. While on the side, the point is only in the middle while the point from this side carries over on the two sides. And I really like this look, It's it makes it almost completely symmetrical, but just a little bit of variation that I think goes a long way. And I think that once we get the oak awning in over the porch, it will make this just look a lot more well-rounded and complete. So I will get around to doing that right now. And this is it, the final result. Uh, I say final, there's a few things I need finishing. First of all, the interior is completely empty right the way through, uh, including the roof access hole. 
Uh, and second of all, I ran out of oak right as I was finishing the oak fence wrapping around here. But we did get the oak awning installed as well as the roof. And I think that it's just looking very good, especially from this angle. And I think that this is the best angle to look at it from. And that was intentional. I wanted to make sure that the side with the uh, center point faced outward, faced the front of the farm. And I think that it just really, really turned out even better than I expected it to. And uh, I think that's just absolutely fantastic. Uh, a couple things I want to point out. We have this nice area where it's lowered, and I'm thinking about doing like a cellar or some sort of like barn or stable back here underneath the house in the basement. I think that would be fantastic since it's like a, a lowered down area. So with that, we are going to end today's episode. I just want to say thank you so much for watching through to the end. And I hope that you enjoy this as much as I enjoy making it, or even just a fraction as much. Uh, because I enjoy making these a whole lot. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. So, I love your faces. Uh, be sure to leave a like if you feel so inclined. And I will see you in episode 3, where we will continue to work on this farm area. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs>